Hi, Open Stage. So I've been uh, wrote this a few months ago, and I have been debating over the title, but uh, decided to, to have a working title right now and share it anyway. Tuesday. <clears throat> You should arrive fresh and clean and scented in nothing but your own intoxicating perfume. I will meet you in the hallway with a smile, but no words said or needed. We both know why you're here. As I remove the layers of clothing from you, I can smell the scent of your excitement go grow stronger. It makes my mouth water. When I finally have you fully exposed before me, I will explore you with my eyes and just the tips of my fingers. I will trace your curves, notice the texture difference between your nipples and breasts, feel the soft hairs on the small of your back. The arch of your foot will no longer be a mystery to me. The crease of your hips will know the feel of my breath. And then I will grin. <laughs> I will spin you around and push you face first against the wall, feel the cold painted plaster against your cheek, breast, thighs, Feel my body plastered against yours from head to toe. And then the teeth from just behind your ear, working my way down your neck, devouring you one bite at a time. I can feel your legs tremble. I know your knees would buckle if I weren't holding you up with my everything. Without warning, I will sweep you into my arms and float into the bedroom, my boudoir, where I have made preparations. <laughs> the rope is laid out in orderly skeins. I will lay you on the bed and pick one up. Right leg, I will say, and you will offer it to me with some trepidation mixed with excitement. I bend it and loop coils of rope around your calf and thigh, then secure them under your knees. Your leg is now unable to be straightened. I leave the tail alone for now. Left leg, you obey like a good girl. With a grin of your own, I repeat the process. Then small leather cuffs that I slowly and meticulously make sure fit your petite wrists, securing your hands to the headboard. There is a small, sharp snap of the locks, making it impossible for you to escape without me. You're like a neck I leave bare, the better to eat you with, my dear. The remaining rope is threaded from your knees to the opposite sides of the footboard panels and knotted back on themselves. There's such an ingenious little knot in those leg ropes, you see. I can slide it to tighten or loosen the tension on your legs. I choose to tighten the tension all the way so that you're unable to close your legs. Spread eagle to me, exposed in all your glory, at my mercy. <laughs> and with hours yet before I have to let you go, I finally allow myself to do what I've wanted to for years. What happens next is best described without words.